you have to decide yourself that I am ready to change my life. Unfortunately, most people grow weaker and slower as they age. But Kevin Kester, a 57-year-old CrossFit Games three-time champion, has found a way to stay incredibly fit and beat the aging process, and now wants to help others to achieve that too. One of my goals ultimately is to help people with that, like as we age, how do you keep your athleticism? Mm -hmm. Kevin's fitness habits will be the perfect guiding principle for you. After you watch this video, you will know the ultimate combination of his weekly exercise routine, active lifestyle for longevity, nutritious diet, and a true champion mindset. This combination will slow and even reverse the effects of aging on your body and enable you to continue doing the things in life you love the most. First, let's get to know him a bit more. Kevin is a successful businessman and officially the fittest man on earth in his age group as a three times winner of Masters Fittest on Earth title. His career as an iron worker started at the age of 19. And all I did was lift and go to school, figured out school wasn't for me, you know, but I lifted. And then I found the iron workers by the time I was 19. And to be honest, it's like doing CrossFit 10 hours a day. But his determination and passion for sports soon made him itch for something greater. Outside of his work, Kevin would spend most of his days in the gym. One day in 2015, he received advice from his gym instructor that would change his life. One of the coaches, after probably a couple months, he said, hey, have you ever thought about competing? And I'm like, like, well, I don't understand. What do you mean? So he began training relentlessly in order to compete in the CrossFit Games. He won his first Master CrossFit Games in 2017 at the age of 49. He achieved his third championship title at the age of 57. Today, he is also the owner of a large-scale steel company, husband, and a father of two children, and he is unstoppable. How did Kevin reach this level of health and fitness and a statue-like muscular appearance? When it comes to working out, Kevin follows a rigorous yet smart schedule. So usually on, on Monday, Tuesdays, long sessions in the afternoons. He dedicates his Mondays and Tuesdays to long sessions of strength training, gymnastics, and heavy lifting in the afternoon. This is how Kevin has been able to combat the related mobility weaknesses. Number one, you have to be mobile. Yeah. So many of my buddies can't even get their arms overhead in yeah. their mid-50s, mid right? Yeah. The National Institute of Aging has found that strength training can build muscle mass, increase bone density, and increase mobility, which is particularly important for people over 50 who do not wish to lose their physical abilities as they grow older. Kevin dedicates his Wednesdays to track together with his coach. Track running improves cognitive function and balance and can even prevent certain cardiovascular diseases. High intensity sprinting also increases testosterone levels and can help burn body fat and build muscle. On Thursdays, Kevin likes to swim. I swim every Thursday. I was always super comfortable in the water, but I sucked at swimming, right? Mm -hmm. So that's something that I've really had to learn. Swimming engages your entire body in a workout. It can improve your heart rate, tone muscles, and build strength and endurance. On weekends, he stays active with his family and goes, for example, hiking. Dom and I will drop our backpacks and then we'll go run a few miles. We'll run up to the top, right to the waterfall and back down. And snowboarding and hunting with his son. Pull-ups in the trees. Usually when I hunt, I do a couple hundred push-ups every day. Of course, even the best workout routine and active lifestyle isn't enough to look chiseled like Kevin if your diet is unhealthy. With his diet, Kevin has one goal in mind. How can he reduce inflammation in his body so that he can remain fit and active for longer? There are five foods in particular that Kevin has made a big part of his daily diet to support his athletic look and demanding training routine. The first of which is elk meat. For Kevin Kester, elk meat is a healthier choice that helps him prevent inflammation in his body without entirely giving up red meat. Elk meat is low in calories, which encourages weight loss. It is also packed with nutrients and prevents the rise of LDL cholesterol in your body. 
Compare it to another form of red meat, such as beef, and you'll find the difference astounding. Beef, unlike elk meat, is a high-fat meat that causes inflammation and raises LDL cholesterol levels. You can see why you might want to switch to elk as a healthier choice. The second food that Kevin eats every day is oatmeal. For him, a bowl of oatmeal is a part of his breakfast. I've got it down to a science, like okay. a literal science, right? With exactly what I'm gonna eat with my oatmeal in the morning. Oatmeal encourages weight loss, reduces blood sugar levels, and the risk of heart disease. It is a much healthier choice than, for example, bacon, which can lead to increased inflammation in your body. This breakfast is also recommended by world-renowned cardiologist, 90-year-old Dr. Esselstyn Caldwell. So if you're having raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries on your morning oat cereal, that's a terrific start. Kevin's third daily food choice is avocado, as they are a source of key nutrients, including healthy fats and fiber. They also contain anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds and may help reduce heart disease risk elk burger with avocado on top of it and oatmeal. His fourth daily favorite food is a peanut butter and honey sandwich, which provides much needed high quality fuel for his muscles. I usually have like a peanut butter and honey sandwich like that I'll pre-make them and don't care how smush. I'll... The vitamin E content in peanut butter and honey provide an antioxidant effect in the body. Antioxidants protect the body from cell damage to help prevent disease and recover faster between workouts. Peanut butter is also filled with essential nutrients, including niacin, folic acid, magnesium, and oleic fatty acids, which may benefit the heart, according to the health services at Columbia University. The fifth food that Kevin has made a part of his diet is hard-boiled eggs. They are a low-calorie food that is an incredible source of lean protein as they contain all nine sources of amino acids. They also improve HDL cholesterol levels. And hard-boiled eggs may be a better option than fried eggs or omelets, which are usually cooked in large amounts of oil. But is knowing what to eat enough to stay lean and perform well in daily activities? Not unless you also know what not to eat. For Kevin, there is one thing he actively stays away from. Sugar definitely affects me, right? Yeah. I don't eat a lot of sugar. Sugar increases inflammation and leads to a high risk of heart disease and diabetes. It is also stored very easily as body fat and disrupts his much needed sleep. That sugar will kill me. I'll wake up at midnight soaking wet. But part of a good fitness routine is also good dietary habits knowing how to exercise, what to eat, and when to eat for a ripped body. Kevin especially swears by two habits. Number one, always eating an early dinner. I've noticed like I don't eat after 8 p.m. You know, I'm usually trying to be asleep by 10 o'clock. Eating dinner too close to bedtime disrupts your sleep by elevating your nighttime heart rate and increases your risk of metabolic syndrome, which includes increased blood pressure, insulin resistance, obesity, and high cholesterol. I find if I eat after eight o'clock, sometimes I have a tough time falling asleep. A large meal eaten close to bedtime has also been shown to be stored more likely as body fat when compared to the same meal eaten during daylight. The second habit he has found very helpful is so-called Sunday ritual. Yeah. Sundays, I'll usually barbecue up a dozen elk burger. With this meal prep technique, you pre-cook larger quantities of food on a day when you have the most time for it. It can be Sunday or any other day of the week that allows you to prepare food in bulk for the busier days ahead. With this method, you have pre-cooked protein of your choice readily available for lunch and dinner for several days. People sometimes forget that fitness is also a mind game. My focus is really going to be on that, like how do I become the best version of a 55 to 60 year old and be able to do the things. I want to be the 60 year old that hucks backflips on my snowboards. Showing up to the gym is one thing, but how do you train your mind to stay 100% focused on the goal no matter what? This is where most people fail, but not Kevin. One thing he has learned over the years is commitment and consistency. 
This means that once you decide to chase a goal, you must stick to it. When it's all said and done, you have to be consistent. A good diet, exercise routine, and mindset are what made Kevin beat the damage that aging would have left on his body. So now you have all three ingredients to embark on your very own fitness journey. Remember, in each of these aspects, there is the thing you are actively working towards, reducing the level of inflammation in your body. And if you want more comprehensive guidance on how exactly you can prevent inflammation in your body, check out our video on Dr. David Sinclair. He presents several leading factors of inflammation